Welcome to another episode of Mighty Car Mods, proudly supported by Just Car Insurance. Now today we're going to show you how to install a couple of Recaros in your car. It's quick and it's easy and it's a very important thing to do, particularly if you're going to be spending some time at the racetrack. Or drifting. Or driving under the speed limit on public roads. In your registered, roadworthy and engineered car. Exactly. Now a lot of you are probably thinking, bucket seat? That sounds like something you'd find on an Indian tour bus five hours into your tour, two hours after you've eaten Rogan Josh, and now you're spurting everywhere and you need a bucket to sit on but you can't find one. But no, bucket seats are an important racing automotive modification. That's right, and they've been around since the 1950s. Recaros have been put in all sorts of things from aeroplanes to cars. That's right. That's right. Wow. This is Sesame Street. Now, of course, race cars, they only have one for the driver, but most normal cars, they come with two because otherwise the passenger, they feel left out and they get a little bit snotty. That's right. Or a little bit squashed up against the passenger window. Exactly, because they're upset. Now, Martin, what does a bucket seat do? A bucket seat holds you in during hard cornering or drifting. Which is sort of the same thing. Exactly. So look, we're going to show you how to put two Recaros in. How long will it take, Martin? An afternoon, but you might need a friend to help. I like having a friend around to help. Let's do it. Today we're working on the Mighty Car Mods S15. Now from the factory they've got pretty supportive seats already, but that said, they have had someone else's bottom juice sweating onto them for the last 60,000 kilometres before I bought it. So that in itself is enough reason to change. You're going to need a socket and an allen key. You're also going to need a couple of Recaros or seats of your choice. But we choose Recaro because Recaro chooses Mighty Car Mods. You're also going to need some rails. This is what adapts the seats to fit in your car. These arrived from Recaro in Japan yesterday. How good that? Firstly, jack up your car. These base frames are pre-made to fit both the floor pan of the car and the seat's mounting system. The first step is to attach the rails to the bottom of the seat. All our instructions were in Japanese, but the diagrams in the Old English word was enough to get an idea of what goes where. The rails come supplied with all the appropriate bolts and hex keys. You'll need to slide the rails back and forth in order to get all the bolts in. A screwdriver can be used to release the slider lock. Next up, the old seats need to come out of the car. There's four bolts holding in each seat, so the whole thing can be removed in just a couple of minutes. Depending on what type of car you've got, it might have a little wire running to the seatbelt which lets the dash know when somebody doesn't have their seatbelt on based on weight, so make sure you rip that off before you rip the seat out. When I say rip it off, I mean carefully unplug it. While you've got your seat out, this is the perfect time to vacuum your car because you're never going to get as thorough clean as when there's nothing in there. The funny thing is that without a passenger seat in the S15, the actual seating position is almost exactly the same. Lay down something soft to work on so you don't wear out your new seats. Okay, so the last thing to do is transfer over the seatbelt components from the stock seat onto the Recaro seat. The easiest way of doing this is laying down the seats next to each other and then you don't get confused about what goes where. We've also got to take off this wire, which is a little controller that lets the heads-up display of the car know or the dash know whether the passenger is wearing their seatbelt or not. That just runs off a little electric charge inside that seatbelt component, so the whole thing has to be transferred from this seat onto this seat and then it can go into the car. The Recaros come with all the parts that you'll need to swap over the seatbelt components. Torque up the bolts nice and tight and remember to check them after a few days use. You 
can use cable ties to attach the wiring to the same spot in the new setup. One little tip is keep your eye and awareness on this when you're putting it in your car because many a person has scratched their dash putting in aftermarket seats. <laughs> Alright, there it is. Now for extra safety if you want you can bolt them in. The original four bolts are put back in and the passenger side is all done. These Recaro SR7s sit in the middle of the SR lineup, offering a combination of features for track driving as well as day to day comfort. It is possible to make up your own rails, but make sure you know what you're doing. You don't want to mess around with what's holding you into the car. Well, for it. It's a good idea to do all four anchor bolts up loosely in case there are any alignment issues with the seat rail. It's really important that you don't cross thread your seat mounting bolts. Make sure the carpet is clear of the threaded holes and do them by hand until you're sure they're going in properly. They have a universal design that makes them look awesome in a wide range of cars and they've done a great job of updating the interior of the S15. We've gone from this to this. and Marty loves being in a fast car for once. Of course, there's only so far you can go on public roads, but the seats feel awesome, the car looks better, there's no second-hand bum juice, and the true test of the Recaros will be when I smash Marty's Subaru at the racetrack. So there it is, it's a very simple modification, literally four bolts per seat. The great thing is about doing this is that it completely transforms the driving experience of your car and it also updates the interior and makes your car look madder than it did before. Now it's really important to remember that you are changing two very important safety features of your car, which is your seatbelt anchor points and your seats. So if you're not totally confident, make sure you get someone who's qualified to help you out. Exactly, and as such, make sure you get proper gear to do it. And we'd like to say a massive thanks to Recaro Japan for helping us out with this episode. Now, Marty, what is next? I don't want to get to YouTube on you, but you should subscribe. Which way is it? I don't know, there is I think. There? No, it's all, is it up? I'll give you Subaru this, the back seats are more comfortable than this. But who needs back seats if you drive a real sports car, mate?